This demonstration video is designed to show the proper use and advantages of the FlexiMount stabilization system when mounting cast to an articulator, which has a thumb screw on the top arm of the articulator. This demonstration also shows mounting of the cast with bite registration. As you can see from the armamentarium pictured here, there is no need for flame or heat for melting wax or crazy glue, sticks, paper clips, or any other items, therefore keeping the setup safe and simple. To ensure adequate mounting strength, the cast should be soaked in water for 2 to 3 minutes and the base scored or notched to obtain maximum adhesion of the mounting stone to the cast base. Once the maxillary cast has been mounted with a mounting jig or face bow registration, the flexi mount is attached by placing one of the two large holes on the end of the flexi mount over the thumb screw on the articulated arm. Next, the cast and bite registration are positioned together and held in place with one hand. The other hand draws the free end of the flexi mount over the base of the cast to the other side of the articulator arm and attaches it to the same thumb screw as the opposite end of the flexi mount was previously attached. Next, the articulator arm can be inverted, exposing the base of the cast. Then the flexi mount is centered on the cast by adjusting and positioning each of the separate elastic arms into position. At this point, we have what we call dynamic stability with the flexi mount in that it will hold the cast position. Now you can check the alignment of the cast in the bite registration or MIP position. Adjust as needed by moving or wiggling the cast into the desired position. If increased tension or stability is desired, any one or all of the elastic arms can be stretched and looped over the thumb screw on the articulator arm. At this time, we are now ready to mix the mounting stone or plaster, paying attention to the proper water powder proportions so that an ideal consistency and setting expansion can be obtained. This is accomplished by placing the water in the mixing bowl first and then adding powder to it, mixing to a smooth creamy consistency. Then you apply the stone to the base mounting plate tapping it into place so the undercuts can be filled and voids prevented. Then apply mounting stone or plaster to the base of the cast in a similar manner. Note that when the flexi mount is applied properly, the cast is held in position with the opposing occlusion or bite registration and is very stable during this process. Once an adequate amount of mounting stone is in place, the articulator arm is then closed. Light tapping on the upper articulator arm is recommended to make sure the incisal pin is seated on the incisal guide table. At this point, the articulator can be left as is for the stone to set, or it can be inverted, whichever is desired. After the stone has adequately set, the flexi mount can be removed from the mounting thumb screw on the articulator arm. Caution should be used not to put excessive force on the cast at this point. A second layer of stone should be added to give adequate strength to the cast mounting. The articulator can be easily repositioned for easy access to the flexi mount attachment arms. With the individual arms stretched tightly, they can be easily cut at the base of the cast by using a sharp laboratory knife. This is a good time to confirm that you have appropriate articulation. Now you are ready to add the second layer of mounting stone to obtain adequate strength and a neat finish to the cast mounting. By following these safe and simple steps, mounting errors and the need for remounting casts should be rare, making this a very efficient process.